Hello everyone, um, this is the third part of the series of my Azure Active Directory B2C videos and in this video what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be creating uh, the sample application that integrates with my Azure Active Directory B2C um, tenant and uh, and then we're going to get get it authenticated and then play around it. So, um, so in my previous videos, I have created some policies in my Azure Active Directory B2C, which, uh, which defines how the sign up and sign in process works, and also how the user editing, um, pro profile editing feature works as well, and then again, SSPR uh, policy def uh, definition. So let's put them into action uh, with a sample application, and then uh, let's uh, let's play around it, and then get a feeling how they actually work in uh, in the actual world. <coughs> so um, I have got um, an application, the sample application that's provided by the Azure official documentation. So that that application has two two tiers basically so it has a web service and a web application so um, let's so basically what we're going to achieve here is this uh, in what's in this diagram right so I have a directory directory to see where I have created the policies so I'm going to get this application which has a app API as well at the back end so I'm going to configure this application to talk to my Azure Active Directory B2C to provide uh, consumer authentication to the application and then I'm going to configure it to provide um, barrier uh, tokens as well for the for access, in order to access the API app. So that's the that's the bigger picture of the of the solution. So let's go ahead and configure the application now. So I'm going to configure the application in two steps. First, I'm going to be configuring the web application and then uh, publishing it to the um, Azure App Service. And then let's, uh, after that, I'll configure the, uh, the APIs part of it. So with the, with the web application, once you download the sample application, or if you open up the Azure Studio project, um, you will see there's two, um, uh, if you open up the solution, you will see there's two projects within that. And then I'm going to be first configuring the uh, task app. So this application basically uses Microsoft uh, Ovin uh, op, uh, plugins or the Ovin packages, and then it's configured the startup um, startup um, class, and then uh, it talks to the um, uh, app start um, startup dot um, and then they have configured it that way. So <clears throat> so that's basically what's happening. So first of all, you need to um, install the Owen um, packages or the libraries. Um, so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to the package manager console and then um, I'm going to install uh, the packages for the Owen. So I'm just going to paste these ones uh, where it will go ahead and download the packages and then install the necessary uh, packages within itself. So, uh, so now it's been completed. Uh, now what we need to do is uh, we need to get the policy names and then uh, update the policy names in here uh, first of all. So that's on the web web dot config file. So we need to ch uh, update some parameters so that um, this application will look at the actuated directory B2C that we created. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and copy those. Uh, uh, those parameters so in here I have the sign up and sign in uh, policy name which which I need to replace in here uh, sign up and sign in policy name is this in my tenant and again <coughs> sorry and again we have um, the profile editing policy name we'll pick it up from here as well um, so that's that paste it in here <clears throat> next we have the password reset policy which is in here let's copy that so that's the policy names are done and then uh, we have the application uh, URI, which we will update once the app service is created. Um, until that, we have to um, populate the tenant name, which is in the overview section. 
so this is the tenant name uh, in our Azure Active Directory BTC and then uh, we have the application um, ID so we need to create an application so for that we'll first uh, publish this application and then we'll create it um, afterwards so we have the versions that's cool and javascripts enabled and the client secret so yep um, so before we update the rest of the parameters uh, we'll go ahead and publish this application first so how we publish this application is we need to create a new app service and then publish it that way so i'm gonna go click publish so i'm gonna yeah, i'm gonna say create new f uh, app service and then publish it that way so for, for in order for this to happen you need to first successfully authenticate into your subscription um so in this case i have i'm using my i have already added my account in here and we'll wait for that to load all right um so let's give this a random number so i'm gonna go with this subscription and with the resource group i'm gonna select an existing resource group let's let's give this a random number yeah let's select the resource group and then let's go create Then this will deploy the um, app, the web application into this app service. It will create the app service plan and then it will create the web app and then it will deploy the code into the web app itself. So that's the beauty of Azure Studio. Yeah, that's great. So as you can see, it successfully um, published the web application. Now we have a web application URL. And if we go with HTTPS, that should still take us to the same application. So which is good. Uh, so we have got the we have got the application now. So let's go ahead and edit the diff um, rest of the URLs or oh, uh, let's go ahead and first register this application uh, into our Azure Active Directory B2C and then let's uh, after that we'll modify the rest of the URL. So um, here I am um, uh, in the Azure Active Directory B2C that I've created and then uh, under applications I'm going to add my application. So let's call that as the task app and then it's a web app yes and then allow implicit flow and then this is the url the reply url that we need to send it to uh, for the moment i'll keep the app uri as well so um and then it's a native client so create um, so this should be https uh, so it also responds with https so let's add that application and then once you add the application, um, you will get the application ID, which we need to again pass it to the um, to that uh, app uh, to that uh, the web API, uh, the web web dot config uh, on the application. So here we have um, here we have the application client ID, which should be the application ID that we got, and also uh, a client secret. So um, we need to generate a client secret so under the keys we have to generate a key and then uh, we save it then we will be able to see that uh, key under here so there it is so we've got the key in here so let's go back to the um, application and then replace this secret in here here um so this uh, seems like it will give us trouble in the source code 
so if I type to the application, yes, I can get to the application and then I need an account to log into this. So if, if I click sign up and sign in, it will take me here, but I don't have an account yet. So you, if you have, like we said, this is all provided by the Azure Active Directory B2C. It takes me uh, to this page where it gives, I need to have a valid email address. So I'll, sign, I'll type my email address in here. Uh, I put my um, Gmail account here um, and I want to create a local account with my Gmail. So um, I'm going to double check if I get that email ad email to my email address. So it, it's, it has sent it and then I need to put a surname and then a postcode. So these are the attributes that I, um, that I mentioned in the policy that um, I need uh, to be inputted by the user. So I'll populate these attributes and at the same time I have just received my code which I will put it in here. I'll say verify and then I'm gonna say uh, a new password to my account. I think which I got it wrong. So that's being done. Let's go ahead and register for my application. So what this does is it sign, signs me up and then again signs me in at the same time. So if I go to my claims rules, then I can see now um, my identity. I can see all my claims list. So uh, this is my email address. I'm a new user. Um, and then these are the attributes that I mentioned that it will be passed to the application during the sign in process. So this is the uh, policy that I used and my uh, first name, uh, my given name, my postcode, my surname, and object ID, etc. So it's got all the attributes. So I can do sign out, and then again, if I go sign up, sign up, and then if I type my uh, email address, then I can sign in. So that's the beauty of uh, Azure Active Directory B2C. This is all done by Azure Active Directory B2C, nothing I developed as you, as you saw. So again, if I go here, uh, it says it's I'm not a new user anymore. And then I have all my surname and my given name at, uh, claims, etc. So if I go to the to do list, it calls the API side of things, which I haven't still configured and that should error out. So I'm, I'm, I'm unauthorized. So uh, in the next video, we will look at configuring the API side of things. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching this video and we'll stop this video now and then we'll come back in the next video. See you soon.